Hey everybody, happy day before Thanksgiving here in the US, yay. Hope you're all doing your Thanksgiving prep, right? Running around, going to the store, freaking out, getting the recipes going. That's my husband's doing that today, so I'm just chilling here with the kids. And so this, you know, we may have an interruption in this live stream, you never know. This is like the real life of working moms. So right now they're downstairs playing quietly, but that may change any second. That could change any second and this door is gonna open then kids. So just let's just so you know, I'm letting y'all know up front. So I want to jump on to do a quick live stream because yesterday I had some messages being sent to me and I also saw comments on yesterday, there was a blip or I guess a glitch or something on Facebook and Instagram where people couldn't, I don't think they could get on or they couldn't see their stuff or they couldn't do their posts or they couldn't access their groups. There was just kind of a little, a little kind of stretch of time where Facebook and Instagram either appeared to be not available or they appeared to be not working correctly. Almost like your account got somehow restricted or turned off or something. And people were like, oh my God, Facebook is down. What the hell is going on? Instagram, OMG. Now, so this is a good thing. This is my soul aligned biz babe kind of tip for today. Because when that happens, right? When that happens, people panic and they start to poop their pants and they're like, oh my gosh, right? Yes, it was on the news. Hey, Mercy. Hi, everybody. Hi. So, you know, it was, so these things happen, right? These things happen. They do updates. Who knows what they're doing? Who knows what spy book is doing? Um, but so this happens and sometimes even our accounts get messed up, right? Sometimes we get restricted. All these things happen. And people panic because they're like, oh my gosh, my entire business, you do an online business, whether it's network marketing, direct sales, or otherwise, you're a coach, you have anything, you're a retailer, online retailer, whatever you do, and you're, you're, you're panicking because your entire audience is on Facebook or on Instagram. That's how you get your customers. That's how you communicate with people. That's how you have people's names. So this is to tell you why you need to have the four C's in place. And I'm going to tell you about, this was something that was told to me by one of my mentors. And I have since implemented this and I make sure that I keep this as part of my daily process because you want to protect yourself when you're doing business online. Okay. Remember I talk always about like soul aligned confidence, soul aligned life, soul aligned business. When you're soul aligned, you're centered, you're grounded, you're taking care of all the things that need to be done so that you know your creativity, your intuition, everything is, you're free to create and be and show up how you need to for your your clients, your customers, your team, whatever you're doing, right? So that means all these little things need to be taken care of so that we don't have to worry. Facebook owns Facebook. Facebook also owns Instagram and all the other social media apps are owned by the companies. So they have every right. They could close up shop tomorrow and they could say, see you later, or they could become, you know, not relevant over time, like MySpace, right? So that's why we have to have a backup plan and we have to have other ways of keeping track of our customers, of our teammates, of our prospects. And by prospects, I mean people that you reach out to about what you're offering or what your product is, people that you've spoken to, people that you want to talk to and reach out to. So there's, you need to do that. You need to make sure it's not just all social media dependent. Otherwise, you're setting yourself up for a complete nightmare. If Facebook went away, do you know the names of all the people in your Facebook group so you could tell them where to find you? Do you know um, all the names of your customers? If you have a customer group, a VIP group here on Facebook, do you know them? Do you know your team members? If you have a team group on Facebook, do you know all this information? How do you know their phone numbers? Like all those things. And you can't even really depend on the back office of your website or your company's website because who knows about that too? You want to be in control and you want to have ownership of all of this stuff so that your customers, your team, your clients know where to find you at any given time if, God forbid, something happens on social media. And you have a way to bounce back and get back in biz right away and just be like, okay, I got this. Pivot. I got this. So here are the thing. Here's the four C's, okay? You want the first one, the first C of working with your customers and how you want to run your business, kind of like a little bit of a little part of your business is the four C's. That's first is collect. So you want to collect the names of people that you speak to. You want to collect their name and their information, people that you vibe with, people that you've been talking to, that you connect with, that you're on the, you know, 
they seem to be like they're your ideal client or someone you really want to connect with and talk to, even if it's not necessarily for business, maybe it's a referral. They know people who might want to talk to you, or maybe it's just someone who might be able to help you to outsource, so who might have other gifts that you can really collaborate with, right? And do this awesome joint venture project. So by collect, if you're old school, okay, that meant back in the day, you collect business cards. You would go to places, you'd trade business cards, or you take a piece of paper, super old school, and write down names, numbers, and emails and things, okay? This can also mean collecting email addresses. So whenever you have a team, you're building a tribe, you have a VIP tribe, you have a customer group, you're not just having them sit in a Facebook group, you're also having them put their email address or give you some piece of information where you can find them. So the first thing is to collect, have a way to collect people's information. If you are somebody who shops online or you do anything online, you know there are times when to get onto somebody's site or to buy something at target.com or whatever retailer, you put in your name and your email and you click subscribe or you somebody that you want to you know learn more from somebody's blog you put in the little there's a little box that pops up that says subscribe or they have a page that you go to if you go to jenrapinion.com you will see a box to put your name and email in that's to collect so that's like your online business card nowadays we don't have to really go in person to networking events or do those things we can absolutely have a capture page it's called a capture page or a sales page or a squeeze page and you can have people put their name and email in and it's super easy to build you can do this in like five to 15 minutes and i can talk to you more about that if you want to know more then i'll explain more about that later but you put your name and email in that's the modern day business card so that's kind of you want to have a method like that where you can capture people's in from or collect people's information Okay, and then the second part of this is to capture. So you want to collect the names and emails or the phone numbers or whatever information, then you want to capture them. Um, so which means you want to put them into some sort of a database where the information is stored where you can access them later that you have control over. So that could be an email responder. And again, if that's something you're not, you don't know about, you can just ask me and I'm going to be doing something with that later on in 2019. Um, it's, it could be an Excel spreadsheet that you put up information in. It could be a customer relationship management database. It could be all those things. Back in the day, it would have been putting their business card in your role. Rolodex. Does anybody know what that is? Yes. Amen. I remember those days putting it in your Rolodex or putting it in your wallet or having like a filing system to put everybody's business card. But now we're, you know, we can be, you can still do that. Don't get me wrong. It works, right? It worked for decades, but now you can do this in a more automated way. So what I do and what usually with the, remember I told you about you put your name and email in, that goes to my email list, that goes to my autoresponder program. So it holds that information in its database so at a later time I can email you, okay? And it, it has that information, it captures that information for me. So you wanna collect the information then you wanna capture it somewhere, be it an Excel spreadsheet like I said or an automated program, some sort of database where you can access that information later. Okay, the third C, is to communicate so you cap you collect you capture you communicate so that means you know if you go to target.com or any retailer you put your name and an email in or you go to a blog of someone that you like you put your name and email in you get emails right after that what happens you get emails on the regular saying we got 10 percent off this um we have a sale coming up for this um we you know or somebody who you might subscribe to their blog they send you little things like oh here's my video for five tips to do you know the keto lifestyle or you know how to do you know whatever it is they send you emails and they just tell you sometimes if you're on my email list you know that you get angel card of the day to your email box that's commun I'm communicating with you so this way you have a way of letting your potential customers your potential team members your potential clients know about what's going on in your world what offers what do you have to offer what's coming up you can give them helpful information and things that they are relevant to them that they want to know about to really bring value to them so that's communicating and you can do this via email right it's so simple that way um, or you could do this like I said you could do follow-up calls on the phone if you had a spreadsheet of all your people's names you could do your follow-up calls every so often you could have a system where you do that there are all sorts of ways you could communicate you could send them Facebook messages you could send them text messages there are lots of ways to communicate with the people that you connect with over time and that's your choice that's what speaks to you and what feels authentic and good to you I love the email list 
So then the fourth thing, the fourth C, so we have collect, capture, communicate, and then close. So this is the part where you are making that offer and you're having that sales conversation. So you're talking about your coaching program, you're talking about your product, you're talking about your service, whatever it is, that's the part where you're getting them to enroll with you or you're getting them to purchase or you're getting them to subscribe or whatever it is, join your tribe, whatever it may be, that's when you're having that conversation, you've made the offer to them in your communications, now you're getting to the point where they are going to join you or to enroll with you or to become a client. And and so that's another skill as well that we all have is closing and knowing how to have that sales conversation in a way that feels in alignment, genuine, authentic, and not salesy and yucky. Okay. That's a skill too. And you can absolutely do that. Trust me. I am so far. I am so far from salesy or icky or any of that are cheesy. And you know, I feel completely comfortable having a sales conversation. Um, and I don't consider myself a salesperson and I'm not well-trained for years and decades in doing sales. That's not, you know, but it is a skill that you learn because that's the last step because that's ultimately, you know, so you're building that relationship and whether it doesn't mean you're, you're trying to push to that close point immediately, it may happen in a day. It may happen in a month, in a year. It may not happen, but that person may have a referral for you. It doesn't matter. You're building these genuine relationships because you want to, because you're genuinely curious and like caring about other people and bringing them value. So that's the whole process. You're communicating and then closing. If you have something that's appropriate for them, that brings value to them, that they're in alignment with, and it solves a problem that they have, okay? During your communication, that phase, you find out that they have a problem that you can solve with whatever it is, then you move to that close phase. So those are the four C's. And that's why you want to have that happening. That's kind of the process of how your business moves. But that capture and collect are really important because that's one and two, because if Facebook or any of these social media apps go down or have those blips or glitches or technical difficulties, you want to away. You don't want that to be the end of your business. I, I have, and I've heard that happen where I had someone that I used to work with who had an, a ginormous following on social media. She did not have an email list and Facebook restricted her account one day and she couldn't get into anything, not her groups, not her personal page. People were like literally like salivating to watch her lives every day. I mean, it was, she had such a loyal and a beautiful community that just loved to hang out with her. Okay. Um, and her Facebook account went down and she had no way of communicating with her team, her customers, her her audience, nothing. And that was a huge learning lesson because it was a panic. And that's also leaving her business on the table and really leaving it vulnerable. Well, so that's, you know, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. And here's what's cool is if you're thinking like, what the heck do all these things mean? What's an email list? What do you mean capture, collect, close and communicate? How do I do all those things? How do I have a sales conversation? If you want to know, right? If you want to know more about that in 2019, I am going to be launching a program called Soul Aligned Biz Babe, okay? For women who want to start, you're in the beginning stages. You're like either I'm, I want to start a business that speaks from my soul okay or I just kind of started but I'm having trouble getting to that real launching point so I'm needing that help with all the little strategies all the structures and all the little technical details in place and I'm having trouble putting that all together this is gonna be a program that's for you so starting a business wanting to start a business or have started but is ha are having a little bit of trouble moving forward and getting your momentum this is gonna be perfect for you so if you want to know more about this program that's coming up in 2019 then just comment below and say biz babe and I will definitely get with you and follow up about you know when this is going to be launching and what's involved and all of those great things but this is something that I've done quite a few times is really coming up with a business that speaks to who you are and is authentically aligned with who you are and what your gifts are and who you want to serve. And that's not always an easy process sometimes. Sometimes we have to really pick that apart and we need some you know, guidance and mentorship to do that. And then getting all the technical pieces in place, that email list, that website, those capture pages, what's that about? Having a way to really get your word out there, have your home base online and have people be able to get in touch with you and capture their information so that you can follow up with them appropriately. Like these are all steps that sometimes people don't know about and it's not your fault because sometimes you don't know what you don't know or you just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. You've been kind of putting it off because it's just not something that you <laughs> it's just like, oh my gosh, I'm just feeling like a little bit of business entrepreneur overwhelm. I got you. 
then I got you. This is going to be Soul Aligned Biz Babe is going to be all about that. So again, if you want more information about that coming up in 2019, just comment below Biz Babe. You can drop me an emoji um, or you can subscribe to my email list, which is jenrapinion.com because my email list is going to get all the updates, latest and greatest. You can also join my Facebook group, which is called Soul Aligned Life, where they will also be getting the latest and greatest details as these programs are coming up and also more detailed training that I don't do here on my personal page. Okay, folks. All right, my beautiful people. I love you guys so much. I'm going to go and go downstairs. It's, it's too quiet downstairs, so now that means I have to go. <laughs> now that means I've got to go down there, but I will talk to y'all soon. Have an amazing Thanksgiving, my American friends. Everybody else have an amazing kick-ass Thursday, and I will see y'all soon. Much love.